Hey YouTube. All right, I'm here to make a video of a missing dog. Her name is her name is Chi Chi, and she ran away, or I don't know, she just can't find her way back home. So I'm calling out all my New Yorkers, particularly in the Bronx. My mother lives off of AD Avenue, A D E E, across the street from the East Chester projects um i'm a late post a picture of her later on once i edit this video but she came up missing she does have a chip so anybody who's watching this video they live in the bronx they live in the east chester um cross anywhere where ad avenue um, Gun Hill Road. Um, my mom's dog is missing. Her name is Chi Chi. I'm so sad about it because it's like, you know, that dog's part of the family. She was rescued from the shelter and she's a real friendly dog. So she was um, missing today. My mother just called, my mother called me about an hour ago saying that Chi Chi is missing and she can't find her. And she doesn't know her way back home because it's snow on the ground. So it's possible that she doesn't know, you know, how to get back home. But anyway, um, so anybody who's watching this video and you live in the Bronx off of Burke Avenue, AD Avenue, the East Chester Projects, um, anyway over there I will post a picture later on when I edit this video again but please um, send me a message I don't know I guess maybe reaching out to Facebook and somebody may see my video and then you may be and you may live in that area in the Bronx but I'm a post I'm a post her picture later on today so if anyone knows or see this dog, please send a message. My mother does have some posters up of um, of her missing. Again, her name is Chi Chi, Chi Chi Smallwood. It's so sad because I'm like, you know, mother called me, told me she was missing. I was almost kind of teary up because I know, you know, that's my mother's companion and I don't know. I don't know why I feel so so teary up about that. I guess maybe because one time I had rescued a dog. Somebody had a back lab. And I had a dog one time. And I lived in an apartment. And they told me I couldn't keep the dog. So I had to give the dog away. I remember taking the dog to a pet hotel up there in Marietta. I left this bowl, leash, dog food. And I remember, i never forget, when that dog ran away from me one time. You know, I'm leaving to go to work, and he snuck out the house. And I had to go to work, and the dog ran off. But luckily, I did find the dog. Somebody had kept him in the apartment. And I was worried all day, so I could imagine how my mother feels. But, you know. But I'm going to post the picture when I edit the video later on. And... If anybody sees her or knows of of what happened, please send me a message on Facebook. And please pray that she makes her way back home. My mother's going to South Carolina on Sunday, so she'll be gone for a week. So she won't be back until a whole week later. But hopefully by then she'll find her way back home. But... You know, she's a real friendly dog, so... And I know how people are with their dogs. So I could imagine. But, um... It's just sad. I just don't like for anyone to be missing. Especially, you know, kids. Because it's way more heartbreaking, you know, when someone... We know when children are coming missing, can you imagine? But when pets are missing, they almost treat it like people, you know? A part of the family, you know. I guess maybe that's why I never did get another dog because I know me, I get too attached to things. And 
if something was to happen and I had a dog, you know, when I had that dog, I was heartbroken for weeks because, you know, but that's not the same, that's not the case with, with this situation, you know, she just got a little bit too carried away and just somehow, you know, my mother thought she was behind the, um, somewhere, somewhere in the house and she's, I don't know, she just snuck out or something happened. I don't know how she even got out, but that's what happened. She got, she was too good for her. You know, she was too smart for her own good, basically. But, but now she doesn't know how to get back home. You got snow on the ground. And hopefully she's not out there in the cold. And someone took her in. And hopefully.